Hello guys, let's take a quick look into how to create a profile in Civil 3D Promo file. Now first thing that we need is actually the file. Let me go ahead and open that file. So as you can see here, I have my, here I have my data uh, with changes in the first column and the elevation corresponding to that changes in the second column. Now we need to save this file, save this data as a uh, space delimited text file. So to do that, go to the file and in save as option, under the save as type drop down, as you can see there is no space delimited uh, text file option listed. So there is a couple of ways you can do that. You can either save it as a tab delimited text file or a comma separated value, CSV file. Uh, you can do either one of those. I'm going to choose tab delimited text file and for the file name I'll just name it profile or something like that and I'm going to save this on my desktop and on every prompts I'm just going to select OK so as you can see uh, let me just if I open up the file that I just saved you can see these data are separated by a tab value but we need for this to work we need this to be separated by a single space now to do that you have to go to edit and select the replace command. Here you can see there is a find what text field and a replace with text field. So the way this works is you have to type in the value that you want to change and the value that you want to change it with. So for in this case we have to replace tab by space. But if you notice if you hit a tab key in the find what text field it takes you into the next text field. And we still don't have any value in this field. So to put a tab value in this field just go ahead and copy one of this uh, tab and sorry just copy one of this and paste it in this text field. Okay now if you look into this you will see that a tab has been placed here. In the replace with text field you can put in a space and do replace all. Now as you can see all the tabs have been replaced by space which is exactly what we want. Now just save this file and let me go into Civil 3D. After this what we need to have is an alignment because if you are familiar with Civil 3D fundamentals you know that a profile can only be associated with an alignment. No profile can exist on their own without any alignment so let me first just create an alignment in the home tab uh, in the create design panel under the alignment drop down select alignment creation tools. It will open up a dialog box. Well, this will barely be an alignment creation tutorial, so I'm just going to ignore all this option. I'm not going to teach what all of these options do. If you want to learn about this, you can check out the other video where I teach about the alignment creation and all that. But in this tutorial, just I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to name it sewer line or something. Okay, sewer line. And I need to uh, give it a style of basic basic style and in the alignment label set maybe I'm just going to do a major and minor label set. Click OK and you will have the alignment layout tools. So for this tutorial a straight line alignment will do. We don't need curves. So I'm just going to select tangent, tangent, no curves. Let me just see the length of my alignment actually. So it is 3500 meters here so I'm going to create a 3500 meter long alignment just going to type in 3500 and there I have my alignment. So if I zoom out and see this is 3500 meter long. So after I have the alignment I need I can now finally create the profile. To create the profile go to home tab in the create design panel choose the profile drop down and select create profile from file. So it will ask you to select the file just browse to the location where you have already saved the file and just open that file. And this will pop up a create profile window and here you can just in the alignment drop down you have to select the alignment that you want to create the profile for and just type in the name of the profile. So I'm going to name this profile sewer line profile. Okay. Profile. And for the label set, I'm just going to give it a complete label set so I, can, so I can see all the changes in my label. 
So as you notice, we have created the profile, but where is it? You can't see the profile just yet because you don't have a profile view. You need to have a profile view in order to see that profile. So to create a profile view in the home tab in profile in section views panel, select profile view drop down and select create profile view. Now here are a lot of options that can sometimes be intimidating, but I'm not going to teach about all of these things, what all these things do. If you want to learn about all these things, you have to go to check out another video about profile creation and profile view creation tutorial. So for this, we are going to create a profile view for sure line alignment and give it a name. Just I'm going to leave it as it is. The only thing that I'm going to look at is this in the profile display options that my SEO line profile in the draw uh, column that it is checked on because we want to see that profile drawn in our profile view. So I'm just going to click on create on profile view and give it an origin. So it looks we have the profile as you can see there it is but let me just adjust some of these styles so we can have a better look at our profile. Uh, I'll teach all about styles in the next video. You can learn all about styles in that tutorial, but let me just change some st styles so we can have a better look at our profile. Uh, I'm going to change my vertical axis to an uh, interval of maybe say yeah, 50 meter and 10 meter will do. If I get that by, ah, sorry, it has to be on the right side. Just bear with me guys, I will interval will be 150. Ah, there it is. Now you can see there is our profile and that is how you create a profile from five. And before I finish this video, I just wanted to let you know that you can put any questions in the comment section below and I'll try to get to you as soon as possible. Thank you guys for watching. I hope I'll see you in the next videos.